What's up, everybody? I'm Six Star Driver here, back with another CDL practice questions and answers. This is the combination vehicle portion of the exam. I have the general knowledge portion on my last video. I suggest you check that out because this is a follow-up of that video. Air brake portion is coming up next. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button for me and check out some of my other contents too while you are here. And remember, don't forget to get your commercial learner's permit before February of 2022, before all the DOT rule changes occur, making it even complicated to get. Good luck everyone, let's get to it. Combination vehicles. Number one, you supply air to the trailer tanks by A, pushing in the trailer air supply valve. Number two, Loss of air pressure in emergency lines causes C, the trailer's emergency brakes to come on. Number three, a tractor with a fully loaded trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Number four, which of these statements is true? Will be C, Bobtail's tractors can take longer to stop than a fully loaded combination vehicles. Number five, if you cannot make a right turn without swinging into another lane, you should B, turn wide as you complete the turn. Number six, the tractor protection valve will close and the trailer emergency brake will come on when there is a major leak in what airline? That will be option B, the emergency airline. Number seven, off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the widest path while making a turn? It'll be A, three axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. Number eight, if your vehicle gets stuck on a railroad crossing, you should B, get out of the vehicle and away from the tracks. Number nine, when driving a set of double trailers, it is necessary to close shut off valves on some trailers where are these valves located c at the back of the trail trailers used to tow other trailers number 10 before you back under a trailer make sure of what a the trailer breaks a lot number 11 to unlock the fifth wheel you pull the handle to what position a open Number 12, after connecting the airlines, but before backing under the trailer, you should A, supply air to the trailer, then pull out the trailer air supply valve. Number 13, you're coupling a trailer to a semi-trailer and you have backed up, but are not yet under it. What should you hook up before backing under it? A, the emergency and service airlines. Number 14, you're coupling a tractor to a trailer. What the trailer is at the right height when C. The trailer is raised slightly when the tractor is backed underneath it. Number 15. Why should you connect the airlines to a dummy coupler when they are not in use? It's B. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Number 16. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle with the engine off and the brakes off should be less than 3 psi per minute at option c number 17 air and electric lines from the tractor to the trailer should be b secured properly with enough slacks for turn number 18 air brake equipped trailers made before 1975 a often did not have spring brakes number 19 the hand valve should be used b to test the trailer brakes number 20 the air leakage rate for a combination vehicle with the engine off and the brakes on should be less than 4 psi per minute 21 your emergency line breaks or get pulled apart while driving, the loss of pressure 
will cause the a emergency trailer brakes to come on number 22 you have pushed in the trailer air supply valve you should not move the vehicle until the whole system is beat at normal pressure number 23 when should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle never option c number 24 the best way to tell that your trailer has started to skid is to be see it in your mirrors number 25 a trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is c empty number 26 if the service line comes apart but the emergency line stays together what will happen right away c nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes number 27 when backing a tractor under a trailer you should a always use the lowest reverse gear number 28 after you have coupled the trailer you should begin raising the land landing gear using what gear low gear option a number 29 you will know the trailer you are using as abs by b a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side Number 30, if you cross the airlines while coupling to an old trailer, what would happen? B, if the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away, but you would not have trailer brakes. Number 31, when should you get out of your vehicle when you're back in a trailer? B, when you are unsure of your path of travel. Number 32, when you are uncoupling a loaded trailer, you should lower the landing gear until it A. Makes firm contact with the ground, then turn it a few extra cranks in lower gear. Number 33. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? C. None. Number 34. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure, see, there is enough clearance between the frame and the landing gear. Number 35. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel is greased as required? B. To prevent steering problem. Number 36. After you lock the kingpin into fifth wheel, you check the connections by C, pulling the tractor ahead gently with trailer brakes locked. Number 37. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the lines are not crossed and the brakes are working. This is done by C, applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for sounds. Number 38. To be safe while driving, you should leave at least one second for every 10 feet option a of vehicle length as following distance number 39 two things you can you can do to prevent rolling over are keep the cargo as low to the ground as possible and go slow around turns number 40 you have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and if it goes low enough, will cause a trailer emergency brakes to come on. Number 41. When uncoupling the trailer, after you have locked the trailer brakes, you should a back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel jaws. Number 42. When do you need to use chucks to park a trailer that does not have spring brakes? B, always. Number 40, 43, the fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means C, the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving. Number 44, when you get ready to back under a trailer, you should line up B, directly in front of the trailer. Number 45, after you have coupled to a trailer, the tractor protection valves should be placed in the normal position. Option C. Number 46. 
How should you test the trailer connections for security? C. Pull gently forward with the trailer brakes locked, then look at it carefully. Number 47. The trailer air supply valve should automatically close when air pressure falls to what range? A. 20 to 45 PSI. Number 48. What part of the kingpin should the jaws be locked around? A. The shank. Number 49. The higher the center of gravity of your truck, the C, the easier it is to turn over. Number 50. When checking that the trailer is securely coupled to the tractor, the landing gear should be slightly raised. Number 51. If you must back your trailer on a curved path, you should position your vehicle so you can back B to the driver's side. Number 52. If your ABS is not working on your trailer, you should B drive normally, but get the system service soon. 53. Compared to a straight truck or bus, there are more things to inspect on a combination vehicle. That's option C. Number 54. Airlines are often colored. The emergency line is red. The service line is blue. Option A. Number 55. To stop a trailer skid, you should be release the service brakes. Number 56. What gear should the transmission be in after you have uncoupled and are inspecting the trailer support? It should be in neutral. B. Number 57. You have coupled to a trailer. Where should the landing gear be before driving away? C. Fully raised with crank handle secure in the bracket. And that is it for the combination vehicle portion of the exam. Stay tuned for the air brake portion coming up next. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.